At last we have explored every outcome for every character and faction here on the island, with the exception of Kasumi Nakano. Once we make our decision, and we solidify the fates of Far Harbor and Acadia, we can go to the basement level of Acadia and talk with Kasumi. If we convince Dima that he needed to be brought to justice in Far Harbor, Kasumi hey, says, Dima is gone. You found out the truth, and now he's paid for it. We did the right thing, didn't we? What do you think? Did we? I don't know. All that's happened, I feel like everything's so much more complicated than I could have imagined. I don't know. Sometimes there isn't a right answer. Yeah. I've been thinking the same thing a lot since this all started. It's not about right or wrong. We made decisions just like he did. Now we have to live with it. God. This has all been so much more complicated than I expected. He killed someone. He had to answer for that. You're right. If, however, we destroy Far Harbor... I heard about Far Harbor. It was you, wasn't it? You found something in Dima's memories to turn off the fog condensers. It was just like a horror movie. Monster Strike Far Harbor, starring a bunch of people who are dead now. Nothing phases you, does it? It's all just one big joke. God. Maybe that's for the best. Who else could have made that kind of decision? You think I made the wrong decision? It's not that, it's just... All those people. Did they have to die? I guess it doesn't matter now. I didn't have a choice. Far Harbor had to go. You're okay with that? Deciding who lives and who dies? I don't know if I could have made that choice. I had to make a decision. I chose Adam. So, it's the sense in Adam. Alone on the island for who knows how long. Maybe that's for the best. If instead we destroy the nucleus... Me, that explosion. It was you, wasn't it? You used something in Dima's memories to destroy the children of Adam. You're not actually upset that they're gone, are you? It's not that, it's just... All those people. They were crazy, but... Did they have to die? <sighs> I guess it doesn't matter now. Turns out, atomic fire is great for camping. I roasted marshmallows. Nothing phases you, does it? It's all just one big joke. God. Maybe that's for the best. Who else could have made that kind of decision? They wanted to destroy Far Harbor. Acadia could have been next. So you killed them all? God, was that the only answer? Sorry, I... I know it must have been a hard decision. At least now it's all over. The island's gonna be a lot safer with that cult gone. You're okay with that? Deciding who lives and who dies? I don't know if I could have made that choice. If we destroy both Far Harbor and the Nucleus... Far Harbor and the Children of Adam... gone. Acadia is almost all that's left of the island now. Why did you do it? She has the same response to the following two options. Does it matter? It's done. It was only a matter of time before both groups turned on Acadia. I did what I had to. You're okay with that? Deciding who lives and who dies? I don't know if I could have made that choice. Say what? I can't hear you over the sound of how satisfying it was to kill them all. Every single one of them. Nothing phases you, does it? It's all just one big joke. God. Maybe that's for the best. Who else could have made that kind of decision? Far Harbor and the children of Adam were both wrong. They were going to kill each other and drag everyone else into it. You're okay with that? Deciding who lives and who dies? I don't know if I could have made that choice. But if we went along with Dima's scheme and peace came to the island... Okay. So, it sounds like there's going to be peace on the island. It was you, wasn't it? You found a way to fix things. You've been alright while I've been gone? Yeah, I have. I feel like a lot of weight has been lifted from my head. I'm just glad it's all over. No complaints here. I just hope it lasts. Peace can be fragile. That's a good point. But 
At least now everyone has a chance, right? It was the right thing to do. I can't believe people like you actually exist. Part of the reason I didn't trust Dima was because he seemed too selfless. But you're just like him. No matter which path we chose, as long as Kasumi is alive, her dialogue from here on out is the same. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me. To bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Rei by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was alright, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. What are you talking about? I know the real Kasumi is dead. She was replaced with me, but do Kenji and Rei really need to know that? What if... We could be a family again. All I have to do is go home. Give them the daughter they thought they lost. Don't I owe them that? You already made your decision by coming here, Kasumi. Acadia is your home now. Your family. You're right. I need to decide where I belong and... It's here. Look after Kenji and Rei for me. Alright? They're good people. I didn't mean to hurt them. I... I didn't know. Thank you. For everything. I'll see you around Acadia. If we choose this option, Kasumi stays here at Acadia. The other Acadians don't have anything to say, but Kasumi appears to be content here. Hey, Kasumi. Thank you for helping Acadia. This really is a place worth fighting for. Are you going to the Commonwealth anytime soon? Just keep an eye on Kenji and Rei when you can. All right? No matter what happens now, I'm going to make a life here. Acadia really is where I belong. Alternatively, we have two choices that send Kasumi back home. Kasumi, please listen to me. You are not a synth. You're the real Kasumi. You're their daughter. That's the thing, isn't it? Now I'll never really know. That idea is always going to be there, somewhere in the back of my mind. But you're right. I'm real enough, aren't I? Maybe that's all anyone can be sure of. You're right, Kazumi. They need you. Go home. I will. I'll start gathering my supplies and... I'll have to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks. For... everything. Maybe I'll see you back in the Commonwealth? With that, Kasumi takes a little bit of time to gather her things together. I'll head back to the Commonwealth soon. Just need to finish up a few things. No matter which option we choose, we're pretty much done here. We can head back to Far Harbor, hop on the boat, and take it back to the Commonwealth, bidding the island and Far Harbor a final farewell. arrive a while later in the middle of the day. If Kasumi died during the course of our adventures on the island, when we arrive back at the Nakano residence, Rei Nakano was still insistent that her daughter is not a synth. My daughter is human. She's not a synth. And we find Kenji milling about outside. Mr. Nakano, I have bad news. Kasumi, she... She didn't make it. What? I hired you to find her, to bring her back safely. What happened? What did they do to my little girl? Kenji has the same response to the following two options. Do you really want to know, Kenji? Honestly, you don't want to know the details, Kenji. I'm sorry. God, our Kasumi, our little girl, it's everything I was afraid of. Those synths she ran away to find are the reason your daughter is dead. You were right to be worried, Kenji. It's everything I was afraid of. They lured her away, and now she's gone. That synth colony she ran away to was attacked. They didn't stand a chance. Oh, God. I knew it. 
They lured her away. And now she's dead. I'm sorry, Kenji. I wish we could tell you different. She died over all this nonsense about being a synth. Tell me it wasn't true. Tell me she was still my daughter. Does it really matter, Kenji? My daughter is dead. Oh, God. I don't have any proof either way. So we just have to wonder? Did she die up north or did she die a long time ago? Taken and replaced. She was a synth, Kenji. She replaced your real daughter. No. No, it isn't true. Oh, God. How long was I worried about that... that thing when the real Kasumi was already dead? Please, just leave. My wife and I need time alone. Kasumi was human. You have my word. <sighs> Thank you. If you'll excuse me, my wife and I need some time alone. No matter our choices in this conversation, we get the same result. We complete the quest, but that's it. Our news is so disappointing that Kenji has no further reward for us. From here on out, when we talk with Kenji and Rei, they're heartbroken. Mrs. Nakano. My baby is dead. Oh God, hasn't enough happened to us? My daughter is dead. I have lost my little girl. This conversation goes very differently if we made any other choice. If we convinced Kasumi to stay in Acadia... Mr. Nakano, Kasumi isn't coming home. She's staying with the synths up north. What? I hired you to find her, to bring her back safely. You left her there? What else could I do, Kenji? Drag her back? No, of course not. I just want to know she's safe. Why did she decide to stay? She made a choice, Kenji. But why wouldn't she come home? I did everything I could to make sure she was safe, Kenji. She'll be fine. You're sure? It's just all this nonsense about her being a synth. She doesn't still think she's one of them, does she? For God's sakes, get over it, Kenji. She was gonna leave home at some point. I know that. Wouldn't you be worried if it was your child? Trust me, it doesn't matter how old they get. But maybe you're right. It's just... All this nonsense about her being a synth. She doesn't still think she's one of them, does she? I'm sorry, Kenji, but it's true. She's a synth. Your real daughter was replaced at some point. No. No, it isn't true. Oh, God. How long was I worried about that... that thing when the real Kasumi was already dead? Please, just leave. My wife and I need time alone. If we tell Kenji that she was a synth, both he and his wife act as if she's dead, and we don't get any further reward. However, we find three other options to tell him that she's not a synth, all of which elicit the same response from Kenji. Does it matter, Kenji? She's staying. She has people there she cares about. There's no way I can prove it either way, Kenji. All I know is that she decided to stay. She has people there she cares about. She's not a synth, but she has people there she cares about. So, Rei was right. Kasumi needed to make her own life away from us. I guess I just didn't want to believe she had grown up, that she was going to leave me. And at this point, he gives us a reward, which we'll explore at the very end. And from here on out, Kenji and Rei have different dialogue if Kasumi chose to stay in Acadia. I'm glad my daughter has found a place where she can make her future. Thank you for making sure she's safe. Kenji will need time, but I know he'll be happier letting Kasumi have her own life. Kasumi has made her own life. I hope she'll be happy. Thank you again. It's not easy letting go, but at least I know my daughter is safe and with friends. However, if we convinced Kasumi to come home, when we arrive at the Nakano residence, we find Kasumi standing outside. Mom? Dad? I'm... I'm home! Kasumi? Oh my god! My baby is okay! Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Don't thank me. 
Just getting the job done. I made the right decision sending you to find her. Are you all gonna be okay now? Yes. You have made our family whole again. Time to pay up, Kenji. Don't worry. You've earned it. Happy to do it, Kenji. You don't often see kindness in the Commonwealth. I'll never forget this. If any of you ever need help again, you know where to find us. Kasumi, does this mean... You know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I was just so confused. I wanted to go somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Do you folks need a minute? No. We'll have plenty of time to talk now. We shouldn't keep you. At this point, we can defy Kasumi and tell her parents that she's really a synth, which dramatically alters the way this conversation goes. Kenji, it's not true. Kasumi really is a synth. She replaced her daughter. What? What are you saying? Just had to open that can of worms, didn't you? Why are you doing this? I told you I made a decision. I came home. Can't that be the end of it? This is really what you want? Yes! Isn't that why you came after me? To bring me home? Well, I'm home. That's the only thing that matters. This is our last chance to back out and allow Kasumi to pretend in her mind that she's a human. You're right. This isn't any of my business. Both of you need to explain to me what's going on. She's saying I'm a synth because that's what I told her. I was so sure no one could talk me out of it, but I was wrong. I belong here. I'm sorry I left. It's okay. We're just glad you're home. And then Kenji gives us a reward. However, we can insist that Kasumi comes clean and tells her parents the truth, that she's really a synth. And Kenji has the same response for both of our options to do so. They have a right to know. They need to accept you for who you are. Kasumi, is it true? You're not my daughter? I... Yes, it's true. I mean, I, I can't prove it, but when I made it to Acadia, I, I just knew. Where's the real Kasumi? I don't know. There's no telling when I replaced her. I I never knew what I was before. I, I never wanted to hurt you. Get out. Kenji! You heard me. You've been lying to us this whole time. My real daughter is dead. Get out of here. Never come back. You're just gonna kick her out? If she's not my daughter, she does not belong here. Now we have three opportunities to allow Kenji to kick Kasumi out, two of which involve failing charisma checks. She's still your daughter, Kenji. She might be a synth, but you and Ray both loved her like one of your own. And she loved you back. You know that. No, it was all a lie. Don't you understand? I've been worrying about this thing when I should have been mourning for the real Kasumi. Kenji, listen to me. She's not to blame for this. Give her a chance. She's lost everything too. You do not get to lecture me. This is my family, not yours. It's your decision, Kenji. I never want to see you again, Synth. You've brought enough pain to this family. Leave. <sighs> Goodbye, Mom. Dad. You don't get to call us that anymore. Now go! Thank you for telling me the truth. I can't believe that synth almost had me fooled. If we choose these options by saying that it's none of our business or by failing the charisma checks, Kenji gives us our reward. In his mind, we're being honest with him, telling him something his synth daughter was trying to hide from him, and so he's happy to reward us. But if we choose this option, Kasumi walks off, and Kenji and Rei are heartbroken. Can't believe that thing thought it could impersonate my daughter. You did the right thing by telling me the truth. I can't believe I almost thought I had my daughter back. That synth, she looked just like Kasumi. What's wrong with this world? Wasn't losing our daughter enough? They had to replace her with a synth? If we're quick, we can follow Kasumi. And instead of heading back to Acadia, which you'd think she'd do, she marches off towards the Commonwealth towards downtown Boston, to be specific. When we finally catch up with her, we find her in Good Neighbor. Hey, Kasumi. You 
Haven't you done enough? Just leave me alone. And here she stays for the rest of the game. Would you look at this sorry sack of skin? You're kidding me. Nick? Oh, how has no one put a bullet in you yet? Oh, you need to come by. Everyone would be so happy to see you. You know, I'm a bit busy, but the uh, next free moment I've got, it's yours. Send everyone my best. Yeah, yeah, of course. Take care of yourself, Nikki. You know, sometimes I forget that our companions have full and rich lives outside of our exploits. However, if we pass those two speech checks... She's still your daughter, Kenji. She might be a synth, but you and Ray both loved her like one of your own. And she loved you back. You know that. I... I don't know what to do. Kenji, listen to me. She's not to blame for this. Give her a chance. She's lost everything, too. We've been through so much. You... You look just like her. Act like her. Talk like her. I know. And I know how much she meant to both of you. You're both good people. You deserve to have your daughter back. But... You are not. Kenji, stop! I don't care anymore! Look at her! Can't we salvage what we can from this horrible world? <sighs> okay. Okay. She can stay. Thank you for bringing my daughter home. This wasn't what I expected, but we're a family again. And that's all that matters. Kenji again gives us a reward. He allows Kasumi to stay. They become a family again, though things aren't exactly the way they were. I don't care if that young woman is a synth. She's Kasumi to me. Sometimes, sometimes you have to make the best with what comes your way. We're a family again. It's more complicated than it was before, but we'll make it work. Thank you for convincing Kenji and Ray to let me stay. You're right. They deserved to know the truth. It's not going to be easy being a reminder of the daughter they lost, but I'll do everything I can to take care of them. Kasumi! We're a family again. I think Kenji and Ray will need some time, but I'm glad I'm back. This was the right thing to do. She looks just like the real Kasumi. It won't be easy to look past that, but Ray is right. We have to take any kind of happiness we can in this world. So much has happened to my family. But we'll survive. We always do. However, we can avoid all of that drama by simply not telling him that his daughter thinks that she's a synth. Hold on to her, Kenji. You never know when your family's gonna be taken from you. I'm glad you understand. It's a terrible world out there. We only have each other. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her safe. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. What's in this collection? Things he picked up out at sea or trading at different towns he visited. I never really sat down and looked through it all. We can reject his gift. You don't need to do that. You keep your father's collection. For your family. Thank you. Perhaps we'll need it someday. God knows plenty has happened to us already. Or we can accept it. I get to dig up buried treasure? Yar, har, har! Uh, yes. But you're not going to need a map or anything. I buried it. I know where it is. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. See you around, Kenji. Goodbye, Nick. Best of luck to you and your partner in the future. With that, we complete the quest, and Kasumi is content, I guess. Thank you for everything. We're a family again. This is how it should be. I never realized before what 
I put Kenji and Ray through. How much they've lost. It's good to be back. I have a lot of projects in the boathouse. Now I'll get to finish them. But her parents are thrilled to have her home. Thank you so much. Kasumi is home. And I'll make sure Kenji gives her some space to breathe. I was ready to let Kasumi go and lead her own life. But I'm still glad she's home. You brought my little girl home safely. Thank you again. You gave me my family back. I will never forget this. We don't gain anything by rejecting Kenji's gift. It's not like there's karma to be gained here. If we choose to accept his gift, we find a quest marker hovering over the ground inside a nearby shack. We find a piece of metal obscuring something buried in the sand, and a shovel nearby, in case we don't have our own. Digging it up... We find an end of dungeon steamer trunk, and inside... A randomly generated legendary weapon. By quick saving just before digging this up, we can cycle through a number of randomly generated legendary weapons until we find the one we like. I did this a number of times to get the footage necessary to make this video. I found an instigating overcharged plasma sniper rifle, a dead eye fiery laser rifle, a junkie's agitated improved automatic laser pistol, a never-ending powerful combat shotgun, an enraging agitated laser rifle, and a crippling overcharged plasma sniper rifle. Pretty cool selection. Once done, we can check in with Nick to see how he feels. Nick. In this line of work, you have to expect the unexpected. Still, I've got to admit, I've never had a case quite like Kasumi's. Really? Never? Well, there was that time I got hired by someone who'd been frozen in a vault for 200 years. That one's been a doozy so far. I want overtime pay for this one, Nick. That makes two of us. It was a lot more trouble than it was worth. It usually is. Turned out to be quite an adventure. Yeah, a whole island trying to kill us. Here's hoping the next case just takes us to some dingy bar. I could use a slow one. If Kasumi died... I just wish things had ended better. Can't imagine what Kenji and Rei must be going through. If Kasumi stayed in Acadia... I wonder how Kasumi is gonna do up in Acadia. That place has some big ideals. In a world full of cruel realism. If we told Kenji that Kasumi was really a synth... I just wish things had ended better. Did you really have to tell Kenji and Rei their daughter was a synth? If we told Kenji that Kasumi was a synth, but then passed the charisma checks... Can't believe you managed to convince the Nakanos to take Kasumi in as a synth. You were really playing with fire there. But if Kasumi came home and her parents think she's a human... I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. Well, the case is closed. Sometimes that's all you can really say. With that, we have one thing left to do, and that's to head back to Diamond City and travel to Valentine's Detective Agency to tell Ellie Perkins, the woman who first reached out to us on the radio, exactly what happened. Ellie. You're back. How did everything go with the Nakano case? Take a guess. How do you think it went? Well, you were away for a long time, and... Don't take this the wrong way, but you smell like the ocean. So I'm guessing you had to track someone down a long distance. By boat, maybe. Guess I was right about the missing person angle. And that's all I can tell. Come on, I'm not a psychic. Give me the details. I have been declared Queen of Fire Harbor. You may bow. Oh boy, it's like that, is it? Why do I always get stuck with the smart asses? Let's just say the case is closed. We'll leave it at that. That bad, huh? All right, I'll just mark this down as closed and throw it in my better-left-forgotten-about folder. If Kasumi died... I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north, near Far Harbor. But she didn't make it. That's terrible. I wish I could say that was rare for these kinds of cases, but... We're almost always giving people bad news. If she stayed in Acadia... I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor. She's made a life there. 
She ended up deciding to stay. I can relate. I left home pretty young, and look at the low lives I've ended up with. If she came home, but we told Kenji that she was a synth... Her daughter was a synth. Tracked her down to a refuge up north, near Far Harbor. I brought her home, but Kenji wouldn't accept her for what she was. There's no shortage of synth bigotry out there. That poor girl. I hope she finds a new home. But if she came home and her parents think she's a human... I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north, near Far Harbor. She's back home. Safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. And thus ends the full story of Far Harbor. Now that Kasumi is safe at home, we can always go back to the island to tie up some loose ends, send in the Brotherhood or the Institute if we haven't already, and explore many of the other marked locations on the island that we didn't have an opportunity to visit during the course of the primary quest. There's still some stuff we can talk about with this DLC, which I plan to do in upcoming videos. Thank you so very much for joining me during this series. I publish new Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss my next episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have already and you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a brand new shirt in the shop. Glory to Atom. If you agree with High Confessor Tectus that the people of Far Harbor must be punished for their heresy, then you can find this design on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes and in a wide array of colors. You can find it on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members and Patreon patrons are becoming increasingly important as YouTube continues to make platform changes that makes the future of YouTube monetization uncertain. So to all my YouTube members and patrons on Patreon, you have my sincerest thanks. I couldn't make these videos without you. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more brand new videos.